Welcome to a breaking news episode of SpaceX in the News. My name's Kevin, and today we're just covering Starhopper's successful 150 meter flight. Let's get started. So yesterday evening was SpaceX's first attempt to launch Starhopper to a height of 150 meters. Its altitude was reduced from 200 meters because of some concerns with the FAA. And they also increased SpaceX's insurance requirement from $3 million to $100 million. The Sheriff's Department handed out notices to local residents, warning them of the potential hazard both to health and property that a rapid unscheduled disassembly could cause. While it wasn't mandatory to leave one's property, they did highly recommend that local residents stay outside during the launch where shattering windows couldn't harm them. However, the hop was aborted at T plus 0.8 seconds due to an issue with the igniters. Elon tweeted that it appeared to be something to do with the wiring and that such a simple issue caused an abort was kind of embarrassing. Tesla Roddy wrote an article speculating on what exactly went wrong and Elon even said that it was well written. In it, they go on to say that Falcon 9 rockets that use liquid oxygen and kerosene use chemical combustion to ignite their engines, also known as TTEB. However, if you wanna take a rocket to another planet, say Mars, and refuel it there, this TTEB method doesn't really work out too well. So instead they built the Raptor engine that burns methane and liquid oxygen that will be lighted with what is known as a torch ignition, basically using spark plugs kind of like what you would find in your car to ignite the ignition source so the spark plugs ignite the torches which light the pre-burners which light the engines themselves that's rocket science it's extremely complex but the good news is it seems like everything was fixed over a 24-hour period because spacex just attempted to launch it again and it all worked out just hours ago starhopper reached t minus zero and lifted off toward the sky the whole space-loving community is about to grow exponentially because of these images. This footage will circulate and inspire hundreds of thousands. This was a huge step that SpaceX accomplished to get people to Mars. I wanna thank everyone who tuned into my channel to watch it live with me. We had a great time. And now with Starhopper's retirement, we get to look forward to Starship. Elon should be doing his Starship presentation sometime in mid-September. And as rapidly as SpaceX has developed Starship, it would not shock me in the least if they did the first suborbital flight by the end of October. The future is exciting, guys. So happy that we can be here to be a part of it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until the next one, Godspeed. Big shout out and thank you to all my cloud licking patrons. If it wasn't for them, this show would not be what it is today. And if you enjoy watching these videos, please consider becoming a patron yourself. For as little as $1, you can get access to more cloud licking content. There's a link in the description. And hey, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode and give this video a like. God bless you.